guys welcome back to my garden so I've been outside working in my garden all day just surveying everything seeing how everything's growing along for the spring season during this season I'm really going to be coming in and I'm going to be really developing this area of this entire space over here in my garden so every year i try to add at least one new hydrangea to my garden what better place to look for a hydrangea than in your own garden i'm going to show you guys a technique that i've used for years to show you how to get nice sized specimens in the garden there are so many different type of varieties of hydrangeas so what i like to do is if i find that i found a hydrangea that works in my garden I wait till the root ball gets big enough, I can divide it into a mature specimen. I have not found one that it really doesn't work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how I go in and I divide my hydrangeas. I like to make sure that when I divide them, they're a nice size specimen. Now, you sure enough can do this from the plant can, but I don't typically like to do that because I was doing my outdoor cleanup, my spring cleanup. There was a hydrangea from the weight of the snow. It actually snapped it apart from the root ball that had developed. And that's why I tend to shy away from buying those smaller type specimens unless the hydrangea is meant to be small from the beginning. Outside working in my garden and I'm prepping that area up, I'm going to show you guys how I go in and I get the hydrangeas. Let's get started. This is the area here where I think I'm going to move that hydrangea to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and get the area prepped up first and then that way once I get the hydrangea ready, I can just move it directly here in this space. Have my hole dug where I want the hydrangea to go so I dug a rather wide hole hydrangeas from my experience have more wider roots versus deeper roots so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna get the hydrangea now that I have the hole prepped and then we're gonna move her to a new place I'm going to tie a little ribbon around the front of the hydrangea. That way I know which way I should orientate it. So it's going to go in that little fence area. So by me doing that, it'll help it adjust. I think it'd be easier for me to just go in and hand lift it up. I'm going to get my bucket that I'm going to set it in, put that in the cart, and then we'll go over and drop this hydrangea in the ground. That's what I got in my bucket. I got my gypsum, my biotone to help the roots. I also have some mushroom compost. I'm gonna mix that mushroom compost in with the native soil in that area. That way we help get it off to a good start. And I got my pruners, my kneeling pad, and my bucket.
things you got to make sure after you put your specimen in the ground you want to go back in and you want to replace that soil i invest a lot into my soil by making sure i'm adding nice rich compost whether it's mushroom compost or regular compost i'm adding that for the benefit of the soil to help my plants so i want to make sure i get my soil back in place so i'm going to go in and put my soil back in so i could actually come in and divide this hydrangea maybe six or seven more times and i would still have a nice show from the mother plant and i would get similar specimens that i just pulled off but i like to do this sparingly see my hydrangea when she's in all of her glory in the summertime blooming and you say i really love this hydrangea i would tell you in the springtime, I will ask you a couple questions. The first thing I will ask you about is orientation. And if we're good, good girlfriends, I already know if you have a space where this will work or not. If you have a space that will work, I will tell you a couple of things. So depending on what time of the season that you come in, you come during the summertime, it's a no deal. We're not going to divide her because she's not going to do well. But if you come in the early spring, like right now, or in the late fall, I'll go ahead and I'll get you a specimen. I'll pot her up. I would tell you, don't plant her just yet. Let her go ahead and develop that nice, sweet root ball system in her plant can and put her out in the springtime. If it's the spring, more than likely, I would get her prepped. I would tell you to go ahead, get a hoe together, yay big, you know, just like I planted over there. I'll be by it this time and I'll put your specimen in the ground and pretty much just keep her nice and watered in, not too wet, not too dry, just do it just right and then you'll begin to develop a beautiful specimen like this. I've sent family and friends home with plants for years. It's almost like passing plants over the fence. And that's one of the things that I love to do because I know the joy that I get from planting. And to me, that's a gift that's going to keep on giving. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.